So just a little housekeeping. You need blocks, pillows, um, anything comfortable to sit on, or maybe a blanket if you can. Nice time to grab a cat if you don't already have them close available. Good. Um, other than that, let's just come to a comfortable seat and be grounded first. So palms open if you want to receive today, or if you need a little bit more center, hands down. And we'll take some below a breath. So think of this as breath with control, that's what they like to call it. We're going to take an inhale for a count, hold the breath for a count, exhale for a count. Keep that breath or your body empty, and then we'll inhale for a count. So think of it like a box. So inhale for six, five, four, three. Two, on one, hold the breath at the top for six, five, four, three, two, on one, slow exhale, just two, three, four, five, six, leave the breath empty for six, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, two, three, four, five, six, hold the breath at the top, for six, five, four, three, two, on one, slow exhale, two, three, four, five, Six. Keep yourself empty for two, three, four, five, six. Last round, deep in for six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold the breath at the top. Six, five, four, three. On one, slow, exhale, for two, three, four, five, six. Keep that breath empty for six, five, four, three, two, on one. Return to your normal breath. Natural inhale and exhalation. And then when you're ready, we're going to start to bat our eyes open. And we're going to come onto the mat, left shin forward to the top, right shin parallel to the side of the mat. So you may be facing a different direction on the mat. I just want to face you so you know how this looks. So our feet and our knees are going to switch positions, and so is our torso. So your feet and your knees. So your left shin's always going to be parallel with the top of the mat, and right shin's going to be parallel with the side of the mat. Working through the hips. So rotate forward, rotate to the side. Rotate forward, rotate to the side. Rotate forward, rotate to the side. Forward, side. And we're going to add on a little bit. You can always use your hands on the floor, I like the hands up here, get a little core work going on. Just really soft. We're gonna drop that left knee behind the right ankle. With or without hands, push the hips up and slow lower the hips back down. So come forward, left shin. And then as we turn to face the right, push the hips up, slow lower down. Crack the hips, knees forward, side, hips up. Slow, lower down. 
stays parallel with the top of the mat. The left shin always stays parallel with the side of the mat. Use your hands or keep them up here by the heart. Taking just a few more rounds. And then we'll add on that little hip lift. So forward and then to the side, dropping the right knee down. Push, hips up, low, lower back down. Roll forward, side, hips up, slow, lower back down. Forward, side, push the hips up, slow, lower back down. Forward, side, lift the hips up, lower back down. Forward, Side, lift the hips up, lower back down. Two more. Hips up, and lower back down. Forward, side, lift the hips up, hold. You can see back, drop the hands. We're going to slide this left ankle in front of the right knee. Pull the left knee back if you can. You can stay here with the hips sinking back. Or release the hands. Come up. Remember, stay back through those hips. So you're engaging the hip flexors and the glutes. Stay for five. Four. Three. Two. On one. We're going to bring the hands to the hips. And as we're just pushing the hips forward like in Strasna, camel position. Kind of opening up everything, giving a nice big stretch. And then slow, lower the hips back to the earth. And you may be facing this direction. We're just going to windshield wipe with the knees. You can take the hands behind you, allowing them to work through the hip sockets. Your femur bones kind of like this, working into those hip sockets. And then from here, let's bow the knees out, give a little sista baddha kamasana, or baddha kamasana. Inhale, lift. Keep a long flat back as you pull the knee forward and draw the shoulders back. Push the knees down. So notice if you start to round, think about pulling forward through the heart and the navel. Come over. Slow up. From here, we're going to lean back and we're going to start to stamp our feet down and reach forward. 
So stand the feet, reach forward. Stand the feet, reach forward. Two, kind of give you a little bit of a roll action. It's almost like boat pose. Right, push, come all the way up. Nice and tall. Excellent. Namaste. Step to the top of the mat. I want you to sweep your hands down. So palms open to the earth. Inhale, come all the way up. And then cross at the wrist. So you can't see me, but palms clasp in. And then reach forward. Turn your fingertips down to the floor, into the heart. And then just open out. We're going to sweep. So you squat down, sweep the fingertips back. And then inhale, arms up for chair. Let's try that just a couple more times so we get the rhythm. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, open to the side. So palms face down, coming all the way up, cross the wrist, palms together. Inhale, reach forward, drop the fingertips down, turn towards the heart, open out, sink or squat down, sweeping the hands back, fly. Inhale, sink up, chair. Exhale, Samasthiti. So one more time just to get the rhythm. Inhale, open down. Going all the way up, cross at the wrist. Inhale, reach forward. Turn the fingertips down to the earth. Lift towards the heart. Open, sweep the fingertips back. Bow. Inhale, reach up, chair pose. Good. Exhale, Samasthita Ki. Press down through the right and lift the left knee up, hip height. Inhale, arms up and you step back and land the right knee. Anjane Asana. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sink forward. So bow the elbows back, arch the heart up. And exhale, sweep the hands forward, round to the back, bring the hands to prayer. So just like you would in cat sign. And then inhale, open. Cactus the arms, push the heart forward. Exhale, round. Cat spine. One more time. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. Exhale, plank the foot. Pull the hips back in space. So you're just flexing right toe to nose. So sometimes I can slide the heel forward, keep hips in line, and stack above the left. Inhale, pull the knee forward, exhale, round down if you can, as best you can. Anywhere you're at today is good. Giving yourself that permission to be in your space. And then inhale, roll forward. We're going to press down through the right, roll back. Left toes, inhale, sweep up, high lunge. So deeper bend into that front knee and try to get the hips. Notice if they're coming up really high, like trigonasana, sink them down. You want them as low as this front knee if you can. Try to drop your tailbone down, push the hip bones forward. Stay for one more breath, work into your space. They're reaching up through the fingertips. Exhale, plank the foot, pull the hips back. So pyramid stance. You're just pulling back to the right hip or to the left, square them off at the top of the mat. Pulling through the abs, bring yourself over the thigh. And then inhale, bend into the front knee. Sweep all the way up. So bring the left knee with you. Okay, so back down. So bring the hands to Sama Sutti. And let's flow through this little sun salutation today. Sweep the hands down, palms face the earth. Inhale all the way up. Cross the wrist. Reach forward. Turn the fingertips into the heart. Exhale, squat down, sweep back. Maybe relevé through the heels. And then inhale up to chair. Exhale, Samasthiti on the right. Step back with 
the right foot. Drop the knee. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, cactus the arms. Push the heart forward. Exhale, rock. Hands in front of the chest. Arms are long. And then inhale, open through the cactus. Push the heart up. Exhale, round through the back. Cat spine, arms extend forward. Inhale, open cactus. Exhale, push. Bring the palms together. One more time. Inhale, open. Exhale, push. Palms together, round to the back. Inhale, open. Exhale, plank the foot, pull the hips back and stay. Flex. Left toes to nose. Pull torso over thigh. And then roll forward, press into the right, or the left foot, my back. Curl through the right toes and sweep up through the fingertips, high lunge. So try to pull those hips forward, drop the tailbone down, sink into your space, stay for just two more breaths. And then exhale. We're going to bring the hands down. So as you sweep down to plank and floor, you notice my cat just thinks this is his time if I'm teaching. Square the hips forward. Here are my pose. My co host, Huevos. And then inhale, bend into the front knee. Slow pull, right knee in front of hip. And set the foot down. Good. Reach the hands out to the sides. Inhale all the way up. Cross at the wrist. Reach forward. Pull the fingertips down to the earth. And then up to the heart. Roll out. Sweep back. Option to elevate through the heels. Lift. Taking a little bird. Inhale. Reach up. Chair. Exhale. Hands to prayer. Left knee will lift. Ready, step the foot back on Janayasana. So drop the knee, exhale, arch the heart forward, and then push the arms around to the back. Inhale, open on Janayasana with cactus arms, exhale, round, quick, quick. Inhale, on Janayasana, exhale, cat spine, hands forward. Inhale, open, exhale. Flying the foot, pull the hips back, flex right toes to nose. Use your torso, pull you out over the thigh. And then inhale, roll forward, push the right back through the left heel, up through the fingertips, lunge. Good. From here, ground down through your right. Exhale, pull back to the hip. So think about pushing through the right wrist to pull and help this pyramid action. And then inhale, come all the way up. Left knee in front of the hip and set the hip down. Ready, inhale, sweep the arms to the thighs, up, cross the wrist, reach forward, bring the fingertips to the heart. And then sweep out, open, brush the floor, maybe right away through the heels. Inhale up to chair. Exhale, hands to the heart, thumbs to the heat, right knee in front of hip. Step back. On Janae Asana. So exhale, arch the heart forward. And then push palms together round through the back. Inhale, open. Exhale, push. Inhale, open. Exhale, push. Inhale, open. Exhale, push. Inhale, open. Exhale, plank the foot. Pull the hips back in face. Flex, left toes to nose. Again, use your torso or your abs to pull you forward over the thigh.
and come roll forward. So from here, you're pulling the hips forward, curl through, right toes press back through the heel, inhale all the way up, lunge. Good, exhale, plank the foot, pull back. So you're pushing down to the left big toe this time, pulling the right hip forward, a little co-host. And then inhale, bend into the front knee. Let's rise all the way up and set the foot down. Inhale, sweep out. Cross the wrist. Reach the hands forward. Turn the fingertips to the heart. And then open, sweep back. Elevate your heel. And then inhale, up to chair. Hold your chair here. So think about dropping the tailbone toward the earth, lifting through the chest. Relevate through those heels. Take the hips down. So you want the hips to hover above the heels. Maybe the hands are to the heart, the hips are on top of the knees. Keep the shoulders stacked above the hips. From here we're gonna lean back. Soft drop the knees forward. Okay. And we're gonna come up. Cross the arms over the chest. Think about engaging the glutes and pushing through your inner thighs forward. Top so the feet can be flat, the toes stay curled under. Either or is good. Just lean back as far as you can, straight as a board. So from knees to shoulders, and then pull yourself forward. So lean back, and exhale, pull forward. Three more times. Lean back, exhale, pull forward. Lean back, exhale, pull forward. Last time, lean back, exhale, pull forward. Curl the toes under, sit back on the heels. So notice you have to lean back, bring your knees up off the floor, hips hover. Then we're gonna try to drop the feet flat to the earth as best we can. Hands could be in front, or they could just be in prayer. And we're gonna drop hips down, coming into the boat pose. So if it helps, toes can stay on the floor. Notice if you're rounding here, very natural. Lift up through the heart, pull back through the shoulders, and come into your boat. Now, giving you the option to go high to low, if you need to, oh, oh those got stuck in my wire. Ready for your lower back, you can go for this and pull yourself up. Or if you want to go for the full extension, low boat, high boat. Go for 10 or as many as you can in good form. So, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Two, on one, hold and lift. Find the space. Come down to either a half hollow bhakti, so low back presses into the floor, a head and shoulders are off the floor, or send the legs all the way out and hold for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, on one, exhale, pull up. We'll do a short round. So five, or again, as many as you can in good form. So five, five, four, three, two. On this last one, hold half or full hollow back to for just five, four, three, two. For one, let the head and shoulders fall back. As you pull the knees into the chest, rock. And roll up. So giving yourself a little momentum, we're gonna stamp the feet and come all the way over into a nice deep forward fold. From this forward fold, you can wrap the peace fingers around the big toes for Padangasana, or we can slide the hands under to meet the soles of the feet, toes up to the wrist crease. Hada Hastasana. 
My biggest thing is always keep the softness in the back of the knee. You don't have to straighten the legs, you just have to keep good form. It's actually better if we leave a little bend and then you can use your glutes to pull your hamstrings open, use your abs to pull you down, push through your big toes, and either variation of the forward fold. Two more breaths here. Inhale, halfway up to release. You can kind of walk it out to five. Rock front to back. Good. Now we're going to start to wiggle our feet in together. Our feet forward fold. Inhale, slow rise. Bring the hands up with you. Cross at the wrist. Inhale, reach forward. Turn the fingertips down to the earth. Open to the heart and out. Sweep the fingertips down. Make a little round bend here. And then inhale up to chair. Exhale, hands to heart. Left knee in front of hip. Mr. Miyagi pose. Exhale, step the foot back. Land the knee. Ready, open for Anjanae with cactus arms. Exhale, push. Extended arms, rounded back. Inhale, open Anjanae. Exhale, round into the cactus line. Push the palms together. One last time. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. So, option, stay here. Cactus arms, Anjanae, or push in the top of the foot up. Chandrasana lunge. And stay here for five, four, three. Squeeze into that left glute. Two. Push down through the right big toe. Stay for the in. And then exhale, lower. And then pull the hips back. Let's floss through the hips. So rock forward, rock back. Rock forward, rock back. Last time, rock forward, rock back. So you're flexing right foot to the nose to pull the torso out. Think about reaching this heart forward towards your big toe. So it helps you that flat back to the knee for. Inhale, roll forward. Push down through the right foot. Roll through the left toes, press back through the heel. Inhale, arms up. Good. So deeper bend into the front knee. Back heel is lifted. Stay. High lunge. Good. From here, we're going to sweep. You can go without the hands to the floor and keep the hands to the floor. Find your pyramid. So push down through the right big toe. Pull the left hip forward. Stay for three. Two. Last one. Inhale, reach for the fingertips. Exhale, come all the way up. Hang the hands in prayer behind the head, elbows wrapping, and we'll lift through the high lunge. Maybe extend back to the fingertips. Notice if you want to like, find that crunch in the low back, find the tailbone to drop and lift through the front body to create some extra space in the back bend. Exhale. We're going to find the hands to the earth. This is a great spot for some blocks as we work in the Hanuman Asana. So with Hanuman Asana, two options. Especially if we have really tight hamstrings, I like to teach people how to do an active Hanuman. This is really good for training your muscles. So you're flexing the right toes back, curling the left toes under. So you're pretty high, that's okay. And then you're trying to come up 
to balance. So a great spot if you have a wall nearby. Trying to keep the hips square forward. You can slowly you'll feel yourself get a little lower, but in your own time. Now, if you're going for what we call a passive stretch, your back knee is dropped, you're sliding right foot forward, trying to lower the hips down. Good. Stay here for three. Two. Exhale. Hold. Right foot back. So from here, you can let the blocks come out of the side. Two options. And again, we're only going for three breaths. So you're going to come back with the shoulders with the hips above the back knee and rock forward into standing splits or if you feel like a little handstand action today bring your arms forward push through the earth so notice if you have a little bit you want to come to a straight push through the earth pull everybody come into your standing splits or the other stand position for three two on this last one, you want to bring that left foot back. Step right foot to meet it. Take Chaturanga, push. Knees come down, hips pull back, forearms land. From here, bring your chest forward just slightly. Curl the toes, press back through the heels. Hold the forearm to a plank for five. On one, lower down, find the explosive. So doing the opposite, the hips pull forward, shoulders pull back, really gentle. Exhale, drop the forearms. And with the tops of the feet flat this time, same thing. Go into forearm to plank, hold three, two. On one, lift the hips lower. All the way forward, find the lift up. Exhale, land the palms, push down through the tops of the feet. Hold here. For three, two, and one, let the hips land. Pull them forward. Good. Exhale, lower down to the earth. Curl, toes under. Option to come up through all fours. We'll push to high. Pull back down dog. And then however you'd like to get to the top. Walk, hop. Float the feet between the palms. And hop halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Sweep the arms up to the sides. Cross at the wrist. And reach forward, turn the fingertips down to the earth, up to the heart, open out, sweep back. Option for the releve. Inhale up for the chair. Exhale, hands to heart, right knee in front of hip. And let's set right foot back. Drop the knee. Inhale, open on today. Cactus the arms. Find the heart open. Exhale, round, cat spine, push the palms together. Inhale, open, cactus arms. Exhale, extend arms, push palms together, round back. Inhale, open. Exhale, push. Inhale, open. Exhale, flank the foot. So you're going to floss that left side this time, pull the hips back. Then inhale, roll forward. Exhale, pull back. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale, pull back, pull here. Try to pull the navel forward, bringing the torso over the thigh. Stay here. And then inhale, roll forward. Good. So you're going to 
Curl through the right toes, push back through the heel. Inhale up, lunge. So you want to sink the hips down, pull hip bones forward as you press back through the right heel. Bend deeper into this left knee. One more inhale, reach through the fingertips. Excellent. Sweep you through the hands to the floor or all the way up and back. Pyramid stance. You try to drop the back heel as you bring the torso over the thigh. And come all the way up. High lunge. Hands to prayer behind the head, wrap the elbows in, find the lift. So the back heel stays lifted, stacked above the toes. And again, drop the tailbone down. Front body needs more space to get into the back bend. Okay, reach back, all three. Two. On one. Exhale, bring the hands down. Drop the knee to the top of the foot. Before I forget, it's always a good one to do before we get into Hanumanasa. Option for Anjana or Chandrasala lunge. Push through the top of the foot. Stay for five. Knees to that right knee. Four. Push down to the left big toe. Three. You got this whole inner thighs in together. Two. And exhale all the way down. Now you can pull the hips back, set the block up. And then curling right toes under. So you can slide left heel forward. Option active or passive on So you can use the blocks on high, coming up, back heel lifted, front toes flex back to the face, and you're trying to balance here. Now this is a little healthy skelter at first, that's okay. Pretty normal, trying to square the hips off forward, or, so either stay there, or coming into the passive on one. You can use the blocks underneath the hamstrings, wherever you need them, really. They're their, your best friend. There, lean on. Keep a shoulder. Maybe the closest thing to a hug right now. Stay down.
and then I like the hands in front of the elbows, so you drop the hips down and help open through the chest. Exhale, pushing through the tops of the feet, so it's kind of a reverse of the toes drop under, and lift into the forearm to plank. Hold five, four, three, two, one, and soften. Open into the face, and we push up. Pull the shoulders back. And exhale, land the forearms. Push to the forearms, pop the feet. Lift into the forearm hip plank. Stay. Three, two, one. Come to find the things. Lift. Good. Slow, slow. So from here, we're going to see some oscillating cobra and pull this down to our cobra series. So fingertips out to the side of the mat, elbows point up to the sky. Take a deep inhale, exhale, pull back through your shoulders, find the width, and then exhale, drop right shoulder in, inhale, lift. Exhale, left shoulder in, inhale, lift. Exhale, right, inhale, pull back. And pull back, lift. Push down to the tops of the feet, squeeze through the glutes. And exhale, lower down. So for your Cobra series, bring maybe it right ear and cheek to the mat and reach your palms back so the palms face down. Relax for a moment. You're going to get some good work, I promise, with this Cobra series. And then from here, you're going to bring your face flat with the earth, the gaze down, the palms reaching back by the sides. Bring the big toes and ankles together and push into the floor. Take a deep inhale here, lengthen it up through the spine. Exhale, pull back through your low back fingertips. Squeeze the legs more. Hold here for five, four. Try to hover the ribs and the belly, pull in and lower. You can never tell how much you guys hear my mic hitting my mat. But I hope it's not really intense. Either way, right ear and cheek or left ear and cheek. One more. And turning the palms down, face the earth. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, push the hips, engage the legs, reach back through the fingertips. Hold for five, four, three. Squeeze more through the glutes and push the big toes together. And one. So this next round is going to be your longest cobra one. We're going to do a little bit of add-ons, and we're going to move on, okay? Real simple. So, push down through the hip bones. Inhale, find the length of the spine. Exhale, pull up. This time, lift the legs from the feet. Pull the toes here. Cover the lower ribs off the floor, and the navel. Stay. You can stay right here, or pull the heels in to stack above the knees. So once they're stacked above the knees, try to lift the toes up to the sides. So bring the thighs off the floor. So you're working into the glutes, into the hamstrings. Hold for three, two, one. Reach back through your toes. Hold three, two, on one. Slow pull the heels in to stack above the knees. Push the toes up. Hold five, four, three, two, on. Reach back. Toes, all three, two, and one. Hold the heels in and pull all the way down to the glutes. Maybe the grip wraps around the outside of the ankles and you go for the floor go. You can just hold the position without the grip. Either or is good. Hold five, four, three, two. 
ahead. One. And set the rib cage. Big toes to touch. Let the knees drift to the side of the neck. And take an assisted seal pose. Let the hips drop as you arch up and back towards the toes. Soften the shoulders. They like to come up to the ears. Soften the back. And then exhale. Roll back. Get to the heels. So from here, the hardest thing we're gonna do today is dolphin. So you're gonna come up all fours and drop down to the forearms. I like to grab opposite elbows to check my distance because you don't want your elbows to be wider than your shoulders. Release the hands often in prayer or arms straight out from the elbows. This is another great spot for a block. You just hook it in between this L formation between your thumb and index finger. Push the elbows, curl through the toes, and come up to the dolphin. You can start to walk it in. And maybe that's too much if you want it back. Soften the knees if you need. Always taking the softness in the knees. Pushing the heels down to try to extend more through the hamstrings isn't going to help through any posture. So always take the softness if you need. From here, you can stay. Or if you want to try for a forearm balance, you're going to bring the left leg up, squeeze, heel to as you push. Notice I didn't kick, I pulled my leg over to the left. And we can try that again. So left leg lifts, squeeze heel glute. Notice the toes are very flexed as I pull my way over. Then I come up. Pull here. Back. Wherever you're at, even if you're in dolphin. Four, three, two, and one. If you haven't already, bring the feet down. And then tap. So we're gonna take one more dolphin and we're gonna move on. Deep breath here. And then inhale, roll up. Okay, set your dolphin up, hands in prayer, with a block, out of block, your choice. Curl the toes under, lift the hips up. Hold the dolphin. And even if you're just holding the dolphin, not even going for the inversion, there's a lot working through the arms. Push more through the elbows, lift into the shoulders. Squeeze, right heel to glute. So you have to keep that push through the elbows if you're trying to go through the inversion. Squeeze, right heel to glute. Squeeze, and come up if you can. Push through the elbows, lift a little more, hold back. Four. Three, two, slow, slow, slow. If you're in the knee inversion, come out, drop the knees, and then come up all the fours. This time, do grab a block of a pumping, you know, medium height, five to six inches. I want you to extend the arms out over, drop the head through the arms. And if you can come push either forearms down into the block. So you should feel this hollowing action through your armpits, like there's a little avocado shape hollowing out. And then exhale, drop the forehead to the earth with the arms, relax. And push arms in to the block, hollow out that shape. And exhale, relax. The other thing that we can do here is bring the head out, bring the hands in prayer with the elbows on the block, drop the head through, and try to bring the hands to the back. Maybe the hands stay up and you just push the elbows with the head hang heavy, bringing the shoulders off the back. And 
and release out. We're going to come up to the palms, drop the block out. So we're going to work into a little aggressive puppy pose. So let's round forward, drop the hips, and pull back. So it's like you're pulling through your tailbone, push through the pads of the fingers. Inhale, round, roll up. So hold the hips forward and finding the little tilt back to push through the pads of the fingers. So notice really um, over exaggerating here because you can feel or see the action I'm trying to tell you about. And then come down. So either forehead to the floor or gaze forward towards the top of the mat. Try to keep the hips back above the knees. And then we're going to roll forward. Please and easy, however you want to get there. And then once you're onto your belly, maybe hands stacked, forehead on top. You can also take a fist if you need a little bit more space between you and the floor. And grab the hips side to side, really gentle. Because I'm really into opening up shoulders right about now. After dolphin, it's always good to do a little extra stretch. It's a lot of work we do in dolphin on our shoulders. So reach right arm straight out from the shoulder socket. Left hand by the rib cage. Point left foot up. Turn and fold in. Co-host over here, a little tap. He's really slacking on the job over there. And then slow, we're gonna come back to center. So reaching left arm straight up from the shoulder socket, right hand. Right by the rib cage, elbow up on the right with the heated leg, and point right foot up, drop down the kneecap, so roll to open. Option to reach up through the left hand, maybe even drop the front hand back to the crib. Otherwise, you can just keep the hand in front of the heart. And then we're going to slow roll back the center. Hands, whatever kick, shake the hips out. Good. From here, let's reach the right arm forward and roll onto our back. Stretch legs out. Inhale, fingertips overhead. And exhale, pull the knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice big hug. Squeeze everything into your face. Scrunch your nose, your forehead, maybe even your toes here. And as you exhale, let the knees pull towards the arms to the in or outside of the feet, letting the low back sink to the earth. Shoulders draw back. And just 
so we get a little twisted. Keep the right foot, send the left leg out. You drop the right heel to the glute, left hand to the outside of the right knee, right arm straight out from the shoulder socket. So you're pulling the knee over, allowing the hips to stack. So you maybe slide those hips over, keeping the shoulders connected to the earth. Inhale, back to center. Pull right knee into chest. I want you to slide, or left knee into chest. Slide right knee behind the left. Grip the feet. And kind of like you're in Doma Cross now. You're pulling them out to the side as best you can. Give yourself a little rock in those hips. And we're going to slow unwind. So maybe send the toes all the way up. Drop right foot over the top of the left thigh. Cross. Left foot over to the right behind. And then go from the line to go past the eye. So we can all end together. Pull the knees into the chest. You might deep inhale. Go. Roll yourself up to a comfortable seated position here. If you prefer to stay in Shavasana, that's okay. Palms open to receive or close to ground down. Three breaths here. On the inhale, bring the hands to prayer at heart center. Exhale. We're going to take one ohm and three shanti, shanti, shanti. A deep inhale to prepare. Exhale. Thank you.